Hi, welcome back to another video on my channel, today we will learn how to make soda cans in Blender, first we will do the modeling, then we will UV unwrap our model, and then we'll do the shading, and you will be getting all the reference material in the description as well. But first if you are new here or haven't subscribed already, then please subscribe so you are always updated of my new upcoming videos, and if you love my work, then you can support me by following me on Patreon and even Gumroad, all the Patreons will be getting my version of the blend file for free, or you can get the blend file for a dollar on Gumroad. Well back to Blender. Delete the cube. Drag the background directly into Blender. Alt G and Alt R to clear all transformations and rotation. RX90. Go to front view, Shift A. Bring in a cylinder. Tap to go to edit mode and then scale it. Try to match it with the image. Alt left click to select the top loop vertices. E extrude and then S to scale them down. Extrude then scale it up a little this time. Extrude it down a little. Now just like before, extrude and scale. Extrude for the last time and S0 to join all the vertices in the middle. Now it's time to do the bottom part, the workflow is totally going to be the same. But for the bottom part you will have to manually fix more of the shape yourself. You can add extra edge loops in the middle as well if you want, because I did for my own version earlier. Right click, Shade Smooth. Go to the Modifiers tab and select Subdivision Surface. You can see there are no hard edges anywhere on the model now, we can fix it by adding some more edge loops. Ctrl R to bring a loop cut and bring it closer to the edge. Repeat the same process again and again where you want more detail. Now the same process again for the bottom part. Modify the shape if you think it needs it. Now go to the UV editing tab. Alt left click to select one full edge loop vertically. You can see we have one full edge loop selected. Press U, mark seam. Go to front view. Turn on X-ray mode. Press B to activate box select, and select all your desired faces. If you feel you missed any, you can select them by pressing Shift Alt and then left clicking. When you are all done, press U and unwrap. It looks okay but we can also see some distortion around the top and bottom edges. Well to quickly fix it you can press U again, and select cylinder projection. Well now we have perfect UVs. Go to the material tab and select new, and then press assign, this step is necessary so you don't have to select your faces again. Well drag open another window and select Shader Editor. Shift A, bring in an image texture node. Click open and select your desired image texture. You will find link to these images in the description. 
We have our image on our model, but it's not looking good. Control T to bring in mapping and texture coordinate nodes. A to select all the vertices in the UV editor, and then scale them down. Yeah it's looking better now. Now control I to inverse our selection. Click on plus in the material editor and then click on new, and then press assign. Now we will do the shading. Increase metallic to 0.9, reduce specular to 0.4, and reduce the roughness to 0.25. Now select the first material, you can either go to edit mode and select all the faces by pressing select, or you can just select the material and directly apply the settings again, the result will be the same. Now for the top cap, we will not be modeling our Ken top, but for learning purposes we will use an image to fake the look. Press 7 on number pad to go to the top view. A twice to deselect all vertices, C to activate circle select. Now select all the top faces. Make a new material again and assign the faces. Again bring in an image texture and repeat the same process we did earlier. But we cannot see our image on the top, it is because we did not unwrap it earlier. So back to edit mode, then press U and select UV unwrap, and now it's fixed. Select your top image from the images drop down list. Now scale along its X and Y axis to match it with the image. And we are done. We now have a finished soda can model, that we can use in any game engine and also for production. It is for beginners so I did not dive into advanced texturing and node setups, because it can be made even better by some tweaks, but for now it's a lot. Now you can set up a scene, then light up your scene by bringing in an HDRI and also some area lamps, if you do not know how to do it, you can find a lot of videos about that on my channel. I am not doing the scene modeling in this video to keep it short, but the snowfall effect. I will be making a separate video about it soon by the end of this week. Hope you learned a lot, if you did then please like the video and subscribe my channel so you are always updated of all my new upcoming videos. Well this is all for today, see you in my next video, take care till then, and happy blending.